Did you just want to do two or did you want to do more? Two. Just two? Thank you. There's my whiskey boy. Right, grab a quick dash of milch. I have a disability called spinal muscular atrophy type two. Do you want a little flex of ham? No. Oh, some ham over there. So you do want some flex of ham, ham? Okay. Basically the message that goes from your brain to your spinal cord to your muscles, my muscles don't hear that message. Marriage has always been really important to me, and yet I'm not able to get married because of my Medicaid. <laughs> Lucy, what do you want to watch? I don't know, but we've got, we've got new stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Juan and I met online. Being with him has absolutely changed my life. I had a lot of negative self-talk of nobody's ever going to want to be with you, nobody's ever going to want to spend their life with you, you're such a burden. Your wedding style is eclectic. Oh, here's my boards that has everything on them. Our marriage plans right now are on hold because there is a marriage penalty to where if we get married, his income would make me no longer qualified to receive Medicaid. So all my caregivers, all my medical equipment, everything, I would not be able to have any of that anymore. To just pay for caregivers, it would be between $100,000 and $200,000 a year. Medicaid is the only type of insurance that would pay for this much care. We have our entire lives to save up for a really nice venue and everything, so. That's true. Put away $10, $10 a month, and by the time it's ready to happen, we'll be, you know, seven-figure wedding. Let's go. Yeah. Without Medicaid, my life would be at risk. I would probably die. I don't even know if I want to do bouquet toss because a lot of my people are disabled. There's a lot of implicit assumptions that family members will always take care of people with disabilities. And that's the whole reason for the marriage penalty. And that's just not realistic for anybody. It's not a realistic expectation at all. Like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I am getting ready for the Paraquad Shine the Light Gala. It's a disability organization that helps advocate for independent living. Tonight's the big fundraising event for the year. I've blogged about the marriage penalty and about a lot of other disability-related issues. I do as much advocacy as I can. I want it to happen in their lifetime. I want them to be you know, happy and married, because that's what they want to do. Right now, I'm studying for the bar exam to become a lawyer. I think I made the decision when I decided to go to law school that I was done being disempowered by the system. You're looking good, girl. With a lot of disability policy, laws are written once, and then they're forgotten about forever by the people in power, not by people with disabilities, because we have to live within those rules. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, that is really, really good. Okay. All right, here you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most disability laws were written in about the middle of the 20th century. And things were just a lot different back then. A lot of us were institutionalized. A lot of us were not thinking about marriage. It's our great privilege to share our work and the mission of equity and independence for people with disabilities. I think that the government sees us as an expense and not as people who are worthy of fundamental rights. I want you to know, like, I don't feel like I have a disability. I feel just like you all. Continue to be great. Continue to let God bless you. And let's continue to grow. Thank you. As a minority group, we get our rights about 10 years after everybody else does, maybe 20 years. So I think it's about time for us to be able to be married without being afraid that we're going to die. You ready? Okay, let's get your eye makeup first. And do you want me to do your full face? 
um, routine today? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I just felt left out. You want to come help? No, I'm good. <laughs> it's really normal to fall in love and to want to start a family. It's really normal for disabled parents to exist and have children. It's very normal and it's not treated that way by society. You want me to put your head up? Oh, sure. Okay. That way you can Thank talk you. better. Yeah. How do you want to put my mask on? Okay. Let me go get it. Part of the reason that I went to law school was because I was really angry that I felt like there were a lot of obstacles that didn't need to be there that were still in my way of living a normal life. And this is one of them. And this is, to me, one of the more profound because it doesn't just affect me, it also affects Juan and it affects our future family. I know that marriage isn't for everyone, but everyone should have the option. Okay. I'm Michael Learmonth, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.